Hello and welcome to the scale and hardware box. Today's video is about how to solve the problem with the sometimes very high temperatures that can occur very often on AMD AM4 motherboards with X570 chipsets. You can recognize X570 mainboards by the fact that they are equipped with an actively cooled chipset fan. Since the AM4 platform is still very popular and used, many of you will probably find that this chipset fan can be really annoying due to a very high chip temperature. In this video I would like to find out why this happens and of course also try to solve the problem. However, one piece of information in advance. All work and modifications that I show you here are done at your own risk. I assume no liability for any damage that may occur. You should be aware of this and everyone is responsible for their own actions. Of course, to get to the cooler you have to remove the main board. On the opposite side you will find the screws that hold the cooler in place. We loosen this and the cooler should become loose without much resistance. And here exactly what I already suspected comes to light. A cheap thermal pad is installed here which has become oiled over time and has become so hard that one thinks it's a piece of plastic that was used for cooling. No wonder this is the case with almost every X570 motherboard. Since all mainboards are produced in China by Foxconn, you can be sure that this is the same for every manufacturer. So it doesn't matter whether you have a Gigabyte, Biostar, MSI or Asus or another mainboard, like here in the video. The manufacturers use the same pool of parts and install more or less the same thermal pads of inferior quality. Since I am absolutely not a fan of thermal pads, a sensible thermal paste is now applied to the chipset. Since the chipset cooler has direct contact with the chipset die, I am applying thermal paste to the chipset die. Beforehand, the whole thing is cleaned with cleaning spirits so that no fats, oils and other dirt can hinder the heat transfer. Thermal paste differently has a much better heat transfer than a pad and the chipset fan is put under less strain and no longer spins up more frequently. ADAPT is completely sufficient. Using a small spatula, spread the paste evenly over the die. Now all you have to do is screw the chipset cooler on, don't forget to plug in the PWM cable and you'll have significantly better temperatures and a quieter fan on your X570 motherboard. Since I already have the board in front of me anyway, I thought it would be also improve the cooling of the power supply. Thermal pads are also used here, which are not as bad as they were on the X570 chipset, but they are already a lot oiled. The procedure is the same as with the chipset. First, I clean the cooler and components on the mainboard with cleaning spirit. For the components, I use thermal putty namely the K5 Pro. This has proven itself many times for me. Applying it requires a lot of patience because this putty is very viscous. However, with a little practice you can get there and enjoy better temperatures here too. What are your experiences with the X570 series chipsets and have you changed the pads there too? You can all write your experiences and tips in the comments. If you like this video, a thumbs up wouldn't be wrong.